We just took many different little drives in California, Northern California, when we moved here. We moved here from the Midwest, from Ohio. I just had never seen a world like this. I grew up in the Midwest and saw the ocean when I was 17 for the first time, and saw mountains when I was 17, and wept because I was so moved by them. I was eager to see as much as I could of what this world is. And one of them was a road leading to uh, hot springs in the Santa Lucia Mountains. So I said, let's try this little road today. So we tried it, and it was broken. It actually ha was full of snow. And so we tried it again, and it was a rock fall. The third time, it was open. It was a terrible road. We love terrible roads, so that was no problem. And when we got to the end of it, there was a Zen center sitting there, and they invited us in. They said it was their very first guest season, and would we please come in and um, be our guests, be their guests? So we did. And Suzuki Roshi was there, and they taught us how to sit zazen, and we heard him speak. And when I heard him speak, I thought, this is somebody who knows what I've been looking for for a long, long, long time. I had walked around my little town as a child wondering if there was somebody in one of those houses who knew what it was. And I thought, hmm, this man knows. This man knows what it is. So we kept going back uh, with our friends uh, as guests every summer. And finally, somebody said to me, you know, there's a Zen master living very close to where you live. And I hadn't, didn't know that. And it scared me to death. But he gave me his name and address, and that was Coburn. And it took me a long time to get up enough courage to go there. But that was the beginning of how I came to be here. I didn't mean to ordain as a priest. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> I just wanted to practice. I didn't care about all the rest of it at all. And Coben knew that. And so the way he ordained me was so unorthodox that people didn't even know what was happening including me. <laughs> I think remembering Blanche and the Ocasa that I wore today, which is the one that I made with her, the very, very first one that Coben had sent me to Green Gulch to make. And she is the one who insisted that I learn how to be a priest. She had to ask me three times to go with her to Japan because I thought, that's way beyond me. I can't deal with that. And she just made me, made me come with her. And when I came, she made me learn how to wear the robe and how to be doshi, how to do the bells and the everything. And I'm so grateful to her because Coben's way was to sneakily, <laughs> very sneakily, make me a priest while I was doing what I was doing. <laughs> well, having, having looked all my life for what I didn't know what I was looking for, and having just driven down a little road by total chance, after three tries, uh, it still blows my mind that it changed my life in such a huge way.